Welcome to this Clavister education training video. Today we will learn how to publish a web server and how to publish a mail server. When we publish a web server, we will create a server IP object, we will create an IP policy and we will move the web UI because it will otherwise collide with the web server because they are both on port 80. We start by creating an IPv4 address book object we name it server IP and it points to the server's IP which in this case is 192.168.1.2 The next step is to create the IP policy. We can either choose to create IP rules then we need up to three of them but we will here select to use the new IP policy that means that we only need one policy and it will create in the background the three needed IP rules. We name it server HTTP, the action is allow, source, any interface, all networks, destination is core and the external IP number of the clavister. The server we select service we select HTTP and then on address translation on the SAT tab we select the server IP. So this will be the destination address translation. We also need to remember to move the IP policy to a proper location in the IP rule set. And the final thing we need to do is to move the web UI from port 80 and we will put it on port 8080 as you will see here. And now it's time to save and activate and this is where the bi-directional verification will take place. So we can see that the system is uh, accessible by the administrator and we will have to log in because we are now on a new port so I also saved the password in the web browser and now it's time to test the web server and if we get something, which we did, we were successful in setting up the web server. We can also start the web server log and refresh the browser page and verify that we have a visitor coming to the web server. So that concludes this chapter. Now we will look at how to publish a mail server. We will copy the IP policy from before, we will modify it slightly and then we will of course test and check in the system log that we could reach the server. So first of all we clone the server HTTP IP policy and we rename it to server SMTP. We change the service to SMTP which means TCP destination port 25 and we of course once more need to put it in the correct position here we use the move to index method where we put it on index number 2 in the IP rule set and now we can just save and activate and when we get the configuration done message the bidirectional verification has completed so now it's time to test this uh, server so we use putty to do a telnet session to the external IP port 25. Now we don't have a, a web ser mail server there so it won't get any, give us any response but we can check in the log to see that we have triggered the server SMTP IP policy Thank you! Now we have showed you how to publish a web server and a mail server Please visit us on clavister.com.